guys. Um, I finally have a microphone, so no more te regular old text videos. I can now improve my voice. Be sick. Right now, I'm using Audacity to uh, record this. It's a pretty good software. Pretty sick, actually. Yeah, it's got a whole lot of features, but I gotta learn them first. Um, in this video, I'll teach you how to um, put notes onto your uh, iPod Nanos. I'm not sure if this works for other ni iPods, by the way. It probably does. Um, this is really great if you're uh, if you want to make like a shopping list or like keep your contacts on the go or something. Like you just put it onto your iPod Touch. I mean iPod Nano, and then it'll work just fine. Um, yeah. So let's go. You see, the great thing about using voice is that my videos are going to be sh much shorter. I mean, this is like I've talked for about a minute now just because I wanted to introduce this new voice thing. But yeah, here we go. Um, first you're gonna have to plug in your iPod Nano or iPod. Every iPod except for the um, shuffle should work because the shuffle has no screen. Um, you're gonna have to open up iTunes. Here I have it in the start menu. Um, click it and let it load. Sorry. Since the camera is uh, recording and I have my voice recording as well, this will take a while to load. Let's just wait and see. Um, yeah. So you're gonna see your iTunes or whatever your music. Have your device. My I named my device after myself, Emmanuel. And make sure you have enabled this use. You, you might have to toggle between manage music as well before you're able to click it. Just click OK, and yeah, you yeah you just have to figure that out on your own. It's pretty simple. Um, after you've done that, close this um, and click on Notepad. You might have to right-click on your desktop and then click New and Text Document, or just click on Notepad. Here, I have it. And type what you want. So let's just say we're making a grocery list. Uh, grocery list. You type whatever you want, like bananas, apples. Etc. Etc. Dot dot dot. Or ellipsis. I think that's what it's called. And make sure you file save as. Now there's two things you can do. You can save it directly to the iPod Nano, or just save it to your desktop or anywhere else. So let's just name it as a uh, testing. Testing five or testing two. So what you do is, after your iPod has been in, has uh, disk mode or yeah that other mode enabled, click on my computer. Um, let it load. Uh, your name of your iPod should be here under either an F or a G or an I drive. Um, click on notes. And then here are all your notes you have. I have like a few here, only three. And then you just have to, you can see here, so cool. Drag it, drop. It takes like two seconds. And then close everything up. Here we're gonna safely remove my USB drive and you're done just open up your iPod uh, go under the uh, notes under extras it's under extras and it should work that's all it is it's pretty simple ladies and gentlemen thank you for listening I hope you enjoyed my video um, see you guys later